Hi everybody, welcome back. This is Liz with 143 Handmade, and if this is your first time joining me, double welcome. Um, I can't tell you how much I appreciate your time. So this is a Threaded Thursday, which is just a series that I'm doing where I share whatever slow stitching thing I'm working on. And this week it is a Stampin' Sew open collab with Susan Hiles over at Susan Hiles Art. And she's doing this whole little adorable little wall hanging. But um, I have a bunch of cats and so wall hanging is not really a good idea. So I decided to do it on this scroll that I could put away and um, use for story time whenever I have a little person come over. Because I love making up stories with little kids. I think it's so much fun. I know not everybody enjoys it, but just I love the way little minds work. So that is what I am working on. And last week I stamped all of these lovely butterflies. I didn't quite get them all stamped in. Um, it's been a really bad allergy week, so, you know, it is what it is kind of thing. But this is just a pretty for fun anyways. No timeline, you know, just stitch and have fun. And, um, so let's talk about a little bit of what I've done stitches wise. So let me see where my camera is. So I can bring this up to you real close. Okay. So like on this, this is just a bunch of long and short stitches. So it's just straight stitches. Some are long, some are short. And, and that's what fills that in. That's all this is. And if you look super close, you can see that like the, the pink is not perfectly symmetrical. I don't really worry about that. Butterflies are, are, are fairly symmetrical, yes, but, um, you know, I see butterflies almost every day, okay? And um, I don't know what they are. I'm not an expert or anything, but I can tell you that their wings are not always identical. <laughs> and, you know, life beats them up a little bit. And so it's okay if your butterflies are not perfectly symmetrical. Don't even worry about it. But a lot of these I just did with some... With some um, the a lazy daisy type stitch where I left the loop and then I just used this other little piece to hold it down on these irregular shaped ones I just added two little tack places instead of just the one and that's all that I did to change that state shape um, this is a million little tiny stitches okay let me tell you I have a confession to make this is the most detailed thing I have ever stitched with such little tiny stitches um, this is the first time I have just done it without a kit or anything, and it's so much fun. I don't know that I'll be doing any more kits after I finish the ones I'm already working on. I think I'm going to take a break from kits and go to this free form. I really like this. And so, and I did this one. This is, again, just a bunch of little short stitches. And, and the other key thing here that, that gives my stitches what looks like so much detail is that I used a single piece of the, the embroidery floss. You know, it comes in, in bunches. You know, it comes it comes in strands like this. Well, there's six of those. You know, I find the end. You know. There's six. It's six ply. And all I did was I just took one. And you can see, just by, it, you know, you can see by holding it right there right next to itself you can see like how much difference that is and how different those stitches would look the exact same stitch with just a single ply instead of the you know multiple plies some of it i did do two, two ply that's why there's some some thicker pieces this one's two ply and some thinner bits but two is the most that i've done on this piece and so i just want to say thank you so much for joining me and I hope that you feel inspired to do some slow stitching of your own, no matter what it looks like, no matter how detailed it is. Um, you know, basic stitching is so much fun. It's so relaxing. And my next project will definitely be much, so much simpler. But this, it just kind of inspired me and took me over. And now I'm doing all of this detail work that I never expected to do. And, um... But I'm so pleased that I am. It's so pretty. I'm, I'm so happy with it. So thank you so much for joining me. And I can't wait to see you again. And don't forget to go learn something new today.